20 year old patient has fever, severe shortness of breath, and red current jelly stools. On examination, he has altered sensorium, respected of 35. Okay. And uh, lab intervention show creatinine of 1.9. They are not given the urea. Chest X-ray is done show multilobar infiltrates. And uh, patient is also having what? Altered sensorium. So, this is the exact question that came. So, what is correct regarding the management? So, actually, this patient should be going to ICU straight because you have the three minor criteria altered sensorium, tachypnea, and multilobar infiltrates. So, patient must be in the ICU, ideally. So here it's literally impossible to calculate the curve 65. Can you calculate curve 65 here? First of all, you don't have the data. So anyway, even if you give confusion one point, respect rate one point more than, they're not given the BP. Okay, they're not given the BP at all. Uh, age is anyway gone, 65, and they're not given the urea values. Urea may they're not given. So you don't know how can you first of all calculate, even calculate the curve 65. Do you understand? Are you understanding or not? Without data, how can you even calculate curve 65? So, if you say the score is only 2, if you say only the score is 2, I mean, based on the given data, where will you put the patient? According to this question. In case, if you have done only the curve 65, you will put the patient in IP. So, imagine, logically, think logically, a person who is having multilobar infiltrates, altered sensorium and severely tachypneic, you want to put the patient in what? Even the startness will kick you out. They will not take the patient in the ward. If the patient is in altered mental status and if the patient is having severe tachypnea, you think the staffness will allow you to keep the patient in what? With high flow oxygen? 100% not possible. So logically, this is not there. Plus at the same time, so this is based on certain things.